Water. Earth. Fire. Air. Long ago, the four nations lived together in harmony. Then, everything changed when I decided to draw all of the characters from the Avatar series and begin the drawing journey. I watched Avatar back when I was a kid, and like so many others, I was immediately drawn into the world. And the element bending is the perfect touch of fantasy that I love in my media. I mentioned this in my sketchbook tour video, but I rewatched the entirety of the Avatar series during COVID, and I was inspired to draw the characters. I hadn't drawn for probably 10 years at this point, since I was busy with school and life, and even though I did decide to draw back then, I drew only like three pages on computer paper. <laughs> but the very first sketch in this Avatar series was Tylee. I wanted to make a little character sheet for each person and animal. And I show all of these beginner drawing sheets at the end of the video, so be sure to stick around if you want to see your favorite character and what my art looked like back then. During the rewatch of the series as an adult, I really learned to appreciate the show for the depth of the characters and the different aspects each brought to the table. For example, the warmth and compassion of Katara, the humor of Toph, the determination to prove oneself of Sokka and Zuko, and the unyielding optimism of Aang. But the person I really related to was Uncle Iroh. I love his quotes. He really does bring so much wisdom, and it's so much more tangible now in my life while having a little more life experience. Some of my favorite Uncle Iroh quotes are, It is important to draw wisdom from many different places. If we take it from only one place, it becomes rigid and stale. Understanding others, the other elements, and the other nations will help you become whole. And lastly, sometimes the best way to solve your own problems is to help someone. So that's a little bit about my background and the love for the Nickelodeon show, but now I want to talk about the Netflix adaptation that's coming out. Just for future context, I'm writing this about a week and a half before the show is set to air. We have the official trailer, some behind the scenes stuff, but not really much else. Here are my takeaways from the trailer. I think the bending looks quite good. I feel like the CGI for that is not always the best looking, but from what we've seen, the bending looks really strong. Second. The landscapes look cool, although I couldn't place exactly where they are, <laughs> but I haven't watched the series in a while, so I think that one is on me. Next, I am a little bit worried that the producers of the original show left due to creative differences. I know there was some talk about introducing some more mature dynamics into the show, but I don't know how much of that is just press and getting the show in the headlines. I guess we will see. I think that the plot development is definitely going to be one of the aspects to watch. Similarly, I think it's leaning a little bit heavily on the aspects of friendship and love. And don't get me wrong, that's important, but I think it would be really cool to hear more Avatar lore and just more background about the world. Again, we won't know exactly how it will translate until the show airs. And like I mentioned before, I think the CGI and the VFX look good in terms of cities, animals, and the other stuff. I am a little bit nervous about how young the kids are. I know in the show, they are definitely super, super young. I feel like it's a lot more difficult in a live action environment. I think Zuko and Sokka sound really good and really embody their characters. And I think the show is going to kind of lean into the campy vibes and try to match the humor of the series, or at least that's what I'm hoping for. Overall, I'm super excited to see it brought on screen. From the small bits I've seen, I think the show really captures the spirit of the Nickelodeon original that so many of us know and love. I'm really hoping they do justice to the story, include some favorite quotes and scenes, and stick to the original as much as possible. Now for the art itself. For this particular piece, I got inspiration from a color wheel challenge where artists draw characters to represent a couple colors on the color wheel. I love the idea of the four elements and I wanted to make it a little bit more 3D, so I had some parts of the drawing come out of their wedges. I toyed between Azula and Zuko for the Fire Nation. There's a shot that I love of Azula hanging off the cliffs and I drew it actually in one of my original sketches and I thought that would have looked really, really cool, but I decided to go with Zuko since his hair down face is my favorite and he has true red fire. Toph, Katara, and Aang are pretty self-explanatory and are kind of doing what they're supposed to be doing. The other idea I had was digitally coloring the space between the wedges, 
and actually adding the symbols of each element behind the pie piece kind of half hidden. But I think I wanted to keep this version as clean as possible since I can always add that later, especially if I'm messing around with more digital stuff. I haven't done any of that quite yet, but I know it's a possibility, so I want to make sure I leave room open for anything down the line. I was trying my hardest to keep my line work clean and keep my colors super vibrant and saturated to match the look of the show. The only things I changed in terms of characters were making the shadows of their clothing a little bit more 3D looking by blending the tones. As promised, here are the original character sheets that I drew way back in the pandemic era. Like I said, I started with Ty Lee, then Mei, and Azula, and then the rest of the gang. I actually drew baby Appa meeting Aang for the first time as well, but I don't know where his little sheet is, so that one's on me. If I find it, I will maybe add a comment or something or post to my Instagram. Appa is definitely in this rotation, he is just not on this table, unfortunately. As a whole, I'm very pleased with how this piece turned out. I think it would be really cool as a poster, and I would love to make prints of this at some point in the future. What did you think? Are you excited for the show? If the show has already aired by the time you're watching this, what did you think of it? Let me know in the comments. Thanks again for watching, and I'll hopefully see you next time. Bye.